Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm really sorry I can't be with you today, uh, but I really congratulate all those who put so much into putting on today's event because it's really timely as we move to a historic chance in a referendum to leave the EU. I'd like to make just a couple of quick points. I'm absolutely clear that it is not the EU that delivers the famous three million jobs so frequently quoted. It's the single market based on the European economic area. And I do believe it's three million jobs anyway. I suspect figures I've seen it's probably four and a half to five million jobs in this country depend on trade with European neighbours. But also don't forget there are five million jobs in our European neighbours dependent on trade back here to us. So I'm absolutely clear we can leave the political and the judicial arrangements of the EU, which cause us so much grief at the moment, and we could become really active major players in the European economic area, possibly through membership of EFTA. We wouldn't just help grow trade in Europe, we would suddenly become major players on those global bodies that decide so much regulation which is cascaded back down through the EU. So you take the World Trade Organization, the International Labour Organization. We're represented by the EU, along with 27 other states. And I know perfectly well from my time at DEFRA that on those bodies, we're not always properly represented. If we had our own seat, we would build alliances with the old Anglosphere, fantastic historic links to the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. You've got an extraordinary stronghold through the Commonwealth, worth four trillion. So India, Pakistan, Africa is waking up, great links to China. And I would see us playing a massive positive role on these international bodies, ensuring that regulations coming forward are suited to our industries, and we would work with our allies on that. But above all, the Doha round has failed. We're seeing real problems, migration around the world, caused by the lack of free trade. We would be an enormous positive influence around the world, promoting free trade again. And I see a huge optimistic vision for this country, a really spectacular future. But to do it, and to get there, we have to leave the political and the judicial arrangements, embrace our membership of the economic area, and become huge promoters of free trade. Thank you very much for asking me along. Sorry I can't be with you, but have a great time. Thank you.